Hi there, I am Aaliyah Ross, and today we're reading the book of John, chapters 18 through 21. I want to talk about a controversial word in our world today, and that word is truth. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This little verse is a very controversial stumbling block to anyone who chooses not to believe and receive Jesus. In John 18 to 21, we see the greatest sacrifice in human history unfolding before our eyes. Every time I read this account of Jesus' death, I gird myself to experience the grief of witnessing what my Lord suffered for you and for me. The God of all the earth made his Son, his only Son, walk to Calvary to pay for the sins of the whole world by his blood. I pray that each one of us would never lose the sorrow of this account or the joy of what happened next when Jesus rose and conquered death. The passage I want to focus on today is from John 18, 37 and 38, where Pilate is questioning Jesus. You are a king then, he says, and I wonder if he said it sarcastically, not knowing that it was really true. And Jesus answered, you're right in saying I'm a king. In fact, for this reason I was born, and for this reason I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? Pilate asked. Now, absolute truth is defined as something that is true at all times and in all places. It is something that is always true no matter what the circumstances. It is a fact that cannot be changed. For example, there are no round squares. I teach in a classical Christian school, and the middle school there is called the logic school. Students in grades 6 through 8 are learning to think logically, to defend a position, to find fallacies in thinking, and to build knowledge of the truth found in various subjects. It is something missing from our world today to know how to find the truth. It seems more and more that the truth in our culture is simply who is speaking the most loudly, who has the most power or who has the biggest online following and platform. When Jesus was face to face with Pilate and Pilate asked him, what is the truth? Have you ever thought about the fact that he was actually looking straight at the truth when he asked that question? I found this quote about truth in an online article from Compassion International. In our increasingly postmodern culture, a number of voices argue that there is no such thing as objective right or wrong or absolute truth of any kind. Is there such a thing as absolute truth? There are only two possible answers to this question, yes or no. There either is absolute truth, something that is true all the time and in every place, or there is not. To argue with certainty that there is no such thing as absolute truth is to make an absolute truth claim, and this is self-refuting. Therefore, the only option remaining is that absolute truth does exist. Believers, the word of God, the good news, the gospel of Christ, has stood the test of time for thousands of years. People have tried to destroy it, to limit it, to change it, to redefine it, and to make it palatable to them. The power of the gospel of Christ stands firm through the ages. The Bible itself is the best authenticated book in all of history. It has been proven again and again to hold together historically and through multiple translations. The truth remains. Jesus Christ came. He died for you and for me to save us from our sins, and we will live forever with him in heaven if we believe and receive him. It is the simplest truth in the world, and it is life-changing. John 1.17 says that the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. John 3.21 says that whoever lives by the truth comes into the light. There is no such thing as my truth or your truth, as we hear so much today, but only God's truth at the foundation of the world and everything in it. Probably half of the world would want to silence anyone who says such a thing, but look how far the world went to silence the truth, Jesus. They nailed him to the cross. But the truth could not be silenced or killed, and he conquered death once and for all. I talked with a friend at lunch the other day, and she said that although she had grown up in another faith, she knew almost nothing about the Bible. Her future husband was not a believer, and in a college class they were taking, the teacher, who was an atheist, 
challenged the students to read the Bible to prove his atheistic position. They both read it, her husband became a Christian and a believer in Jesus, and they both dove into their new faith with joy, and it was a foundation for their marriage. We have access to the truth, and it is found in Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Thanks for joining me today.